What's up, guys? This is Reno Ranchero, and I am doing another episode of The Hunger Games Live. But now I have to call the series The Hardcore Games Live because of, you know, that one company, Lionsgate. They don't want me to call this The Hunger Games Live because I am apparently referring to their movie that they made and made tons of money off of, and I would not want to be acting like I owned The Hunger Games. So I am going to call this The Hardcore Games Live, and it is the exact same concept, of course going into the hardcore games and playing a kit solo live while commentating the action. It should be a lot of fun, you guys. I'm just going to go in here, and I'll have a chance to talk to you guys, give you updates about the channel, different things that are going on, and it should be a great time. This might be a long video. I'm in a full server. Well, it's 117 people, and I'm going to try to kill all these people, or as many people as I can. I am playing the snail kit. And the hardcore games were just updated today. It is Monday, August the 26th. And the hardcore games have been updated. All the kits, or a lot of kits, have been nerfed or buffed. Urgle now has drinkable strength potions. Uh, Thor got a slight buff, so we'll probably see more Thors, which is not good for me. But I'll manage, I guess. As well as a lot of other things. A lot of kits got changed. I think Fletcher got combined into Archer. You guys can tell me other things in the comments because I don't know everything off the top of my head. Which I never really know what's going on anyway. Uh, but regardless of all the updates, I am playing the Snail Kit which does the same thing as it did before. Hopefully I'll be able to give a lot of people slowness. That is the plan here. We're going to try to make a wooden sword here just because, I don't know, it's easier for me that way. Hopefully there won't be too many teams in this game. That will be a challenge for me to take on some teams, I'm guessing. We got less than 10 seconds here. We're going to go ahead and break the crafting table. And we're going to go solo here. We got Cobble Fun on the compass. Let's go ahead and try to kill Cobble Fun. This will be fun. Actually, we got someone named Martins down here. Alright, got the kill. He had a stone sword for me, so that is pretty cool. I always appreciate stone swords. And we shall continue on. I guess I don't know where Cobble Fun is. Oh wait, yes I do. He's over here. Let's go see if we can hit this guy with my sword. That's generally the idea. I'm going to try to combo this guy. We will see what happens here. Alright, got all of his mushrooms. whoop de doo He had some wood for me. Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and try to make some bowls here. Using that crafting. Uh, one point, whatever you call it, crafting. Alright, that's 37 bowls. Let's make sure no one's trying to kill me right now. Always want to look over your shoulder. It's good to be paranoid. In most situations. I don't want seeds! Oh my god, I don't want seeds. Oh boy, I can't craft. This is not good. I think it's the lag. Let's just blame the lag. Alright, moving on here. We got two kills with Snail. I got a good amount of mushrooms here. And we got a guy right here. Let's try to combo him, if at all possible. Gonna try to give him slowness. Alright, get the combo here with Snail. It said he's a fisherman. That must be the inspector thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Well, I killed the fisherman. Yeah, Inspector is where if you get close to a person, it'll tell you what kit they have. And so I knew he was a fisherman in the in the uh, middle of the fight. Which I guess helps me, you know, I could have uh, watched out for fishing poles during the fight. I guess that's really helpful to know. I mean, I guess if it was a monk, then you would be uh, prepared for that. So I guess there are some uses to the Inspector thing. Uh, but it does sort of take away from the Spy kit, because Spy has that exclusive uh, ability. Uh, here are some people hanging out over here. Let's try to hit this guy in the water here. We got two people in here, actually. Um, I don't know, guys. 
If they get below me, I'm gonna get comboed. Let's go ahead and try to run for now. Refill. Try to fight this team of two here. I don't know, guys. Got the first kill. We're gonna run away and throw a few things. Try to get some more soup. And then fight this other guy. He's gonna block with his sword. Or is he gonna fight? I don't know. Trying to get the combo on this guy here. He should be dead pretty soon, and he is. So good fight, sir. He was a frosty, and the team of two is now dead. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can tell, this is the first game I've played today, so I'm a little rusty, but not too bad, not too bad. Craft some more soup. They had some cocoa beans, drinking the chocolate milk. And we will continue on, lots of mushrooms here. Got 48 other people in the game. Five kills with Snail. Also, I should mention that I know Dualcom Sunday was supposed to come out yesterday, but I had some problems with the recording, and I couldn't upload it, so that's a shame. I was really sad about that. But we will have Dualcom Sundays uh, next Sunday. Anyway, that guy was AFK. He was a nun. He didn't have anything at all. <laughs> oh, boy. That's pretty funny. He probably wasn't even there at his computer. Maybe he went to go get some snacks, which you guys should probably do, because I don't know how long this game's going to be, so... You guys can pause the game and... Or pause the video and get a snack. That'd be pretty cool. Or some Mountain Dew. Alright, here's the guy. He's holding something in his hand. That is scary. It's a pumpkin. Oh, man. He's going to pumpkin combo me. Oh, can't sprint. Yep. Never can sprint in this game. He's holding something in his hand. It looks like a sword, maybe. Or a bow. I think it's a bow. I think he's archer, you guys. He's going to try to turn around and arch me. Now, with archer, if you hit someone, you get the arrow back. So if you have a really good aiming ability... Oh, look at that. This guy knows how to shoot. All you got to do against these archers is just kind of strafe, and they won't be able to hit you. So right there... <laughs> That is an example of how to kill an archer. I'm sure you guys already knew that. I will take his arrows. He also had some apples. Look at those arrows. I got 15 arrows. I'm going to hold on to those. And I will also take the apples here. So that is nice. Now we got Pikmin 404. Getting down here. It started with the full server. A lot of people dying in the first eight minutes here. I'm sure a couple people have iron stuff now. I see this guy's name tag. I can hear him a digging. He is down here for sure. I have a wooden pick I can dig with. Hmm. Where is this guy? Aha! Does he have a chest plate already? Yeah, he does. He does indeed. Gonna try to combo this iron guy, and he is dead. All right. He had a chest plate and an iron sword. And I need to loot this quickly before I get comboed by someone really quickly. And he had 13 ore. So that's a good kill right there, of course. We will grab the stone. He had coal, too, and a stone pick. Wow, buddy, thank you so much. You even made the furnaces for me. This just really makes my life easy. I don't have to do any math on this Monday. I already had all my classes today, so... Not really want to be done with math for now. So that is nice. Thank you, Pikmin404. So I got the chest plate now. Don't really need any more coal. Maybe I'll get my hands on a bow later. And I'm going to have some early iron here, guys. We'll be able to make some pants. Even though they are just a theory, I mean... I do want to give myself the best advantage possible. Though it would be funny to not wear pants. I would recommend wearing pants, by the way. As long as you think they're a theory, that's all that matters. You can still put on theoretical pants. Anyway, that's going to be six more iron, so I'll be able to make, well, helmet and boots. I'm pretty sure have the same armor points anyway. So I'll go ahead and make iron boots, which is what I normally do. 
And that leaves us with two extra ingots. I guess I'll make an extra iron sword. I would need to get some sticks though. Try to grab some sticks really carefully here. Oh wait, there we go. Because I do throw my sword just about all the time. Approximately all the time. Alright, so now I have a lot of armor thanks to that kill. And we can continue on. And as I'm going on, I do want to make a comment, but just a very brief comment about the MC PvP drama. I'm not going to talk about it for that long, but there were some people who commented on some of my last videos wondering if I knew about it, and of course I do know about what happened. You guys know Massive Tunes was an MC PvP admin, and he was fired from his position uh, because he was not doing his job. And that's all that, that, that's really all that that is. You know, employees get fired from their jobs all the time. Um, now I'm not really gonna comment on what happened with some of the other staff members. Um, but I will miss a some of those people, especially Admiral. He was a good friend of mine and I hope that he still considers himself a friend of mine and he was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun times together on MCPVP and I will miss him for sure. Um, but that's just the reality, you know, stuff like that happens, but we move on, and I will be moving on. I'll still be making videos on MCPVP for a long time, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I will still be making videos here, and uh, you guys you guys should all continue to play here. No reason why you should quit, because the game mode is still fun, and um, it's only getting better, you know. You see, we have this update today. And that's just an example of how things are going to be, uh, are still going to be fun in the future. Oh my gosh, look who's in this game. Draw Iconic. Oh my god, you guys. Well, he's playing the Archer Kit. So I don't know how much you can abuse the Archer Kit. What am I doing right now, actually? 8 Snag 4. I feel like I'm unable to track this guy. I got a feeling that this guy is underground. 8 snag 4. I don't want to dig down to people right now. That's not what I want to do. Okay, Revjar is an assassin. So he is currently in the game. Probably on the surface. He just killed a viper. So this is good. This is where I want to go. I really don't like jungle navigation. That's why I like kangaroo so much. Because kangaroo is great for jungles. Alright, so my compass is leading me closer to spawn. So that's probably where all the action is happening. Rev Jar, the assassin. Draw Iconic is now noticing that I'm here. Oh man. He says, sucks that I don't have Thor. Oh, man, I am glad you do not have Thor, sir. It's pretty funny that I would be doing a Hardcore Games Live and he would be here. Of course, I'm talking about my Ender Rage video, if you guys haven't seen that. He was in that video. And, uh, yeah, let's just say I didn't have the best time with him. Not very good experiences. You know, that, that wasn't too good. I didn't have the best time. I've had better times. Let me just put it that way. Anyway, I think this Revjar guy is right over here. Gotta watch out for towers, though. Ah, well, screw it. Let's just go fight Revjar. Hmm, Mr. Revjar. Got a feeling he might be down here. You know? Let's fight! Gonna try to block it here in this small area. He only has a chest plate, guys, so I should be able to kill him, and I just did. So, good fight, Revjar. Thank you for the logs, or the wood, by the way. I always get logs and planks. Like, I always say those interchangeably. But for the record, they are clearly two different things. Just so you guys know. Hope I wasn't confusing you all this time. Wow, 49 arrows. There's something about the archer kit that... Apparently it drops the arrows. I got a feeling that Dra Iconic is just going to tower because he's an archer and because he is the kind of person that he is, which is a troll at times. Not going to say he always trolls, but you know. He has trolled in the past. 
All right, 10 other people in this game. Nine kills. We have Caver GUI. I really hope that no one is in a tower, but that is just asking for too much. That is not how the real world goes, guys. In the real world, people will be way up high, and they will make it very difficult for you, because that's just the world we live in. That's just how it goes. Alright, we got two people in this direction. Oh yeah, they're in that tower over there. I don't have a bow, but I have tons of arrows, so... If I make it to the feast, I will be able to get a bow and shoot tons of people. And Draw Iconic probably has tons of arrows as well, so we're going to have fun with that. Of course, his is a punch bow, so he's got a much better time than I do. Um, try to rearrange my inventory here. Oh my god, Draw Iconic. Um, yeah, I don't want to bother with these towers because they could easily mage me up and kill me in some way. Oh, the feast! whoop de doo guys, whoop de doo This forces people to all come together. And we can have a nice little time over here at the feast. Let's look in the chat, or not the chat, but the player list. Looks like we all don't have ranks. Of course, they could be using tag normal. I'm using tag normal. A lot of people will wonder. I am a mod. I've been mod since October of last year. And that is why, um, well, that is, um, the reason why I don't show up as a mod is because I use slash tag. I just prefer it that way. Um, it's easier for me to play a normal game when less people recognize me. I just like to have that authentic uh, game and not have a lot of problems that way. Um, so we got someone named Wapagon on my compass here. And I do apologize, I haven't done a live commentary in a while, so I've probably messed up with speaking English a few times. But I just got to get back into the swing of things, doing live commentaries probably been a long while since I've uploaded one of these so just wanted to throw that out there anyway we're making our way towards the feast I've been eating soup this whole time so let's switch to fruit guys gotta have a good diet here and yeah Wapagon 06 is over here somewhere they have been underground for a while uh, I have three minutes till the feast starts. Not quite sure what to expect. I am now in the top ten, guys, so this will be a good game. No matter what happens, it'll be a good game. You have to say that. You have to admit that. And I appear to be the only person at the feast right now. And I have tons of mushroom stew. Still missing the helmet, so you can see my Team Rocket uh, hat on my skin. Oh, look at that. Wapagon just killed 8 Snag. He was a monk, my least favorite kit of all time, you guys. Is that him over there? I don't know. No, that's a mushroom. Well, he might be on the surface if he got a kill, so... It might be worth my time to run over there. You know? While he's going through the guy's loot that he just killed... You know, I don't like to waste time. I hear footsteps. It's an ocelot. Oh man, those trolling ocelots. Well, I have no idea how close this guy actually is, so never mind. I would hate to get stuck in a long suit battle with that guy and then miss the feast. Which has happened to me lots of times. So let's forget that idea and go back to the feast. Um, and see if Dra Iconic will be there or any of our nice other friends in the chat. And maybe I'll have the privilege of fighting them. We will see, guys. We will see. Still got Wapagon on my compass, so... I guess that's a good sign. He's a monk. We have Jasodarai and the other guy, Caver GUI, are up in the tower. And this guy says Chem Time. Maybe he's, um... Brazilian, I don't really know. 
I don't claim to be fluent in Portuguese. But that does sort of maybe look like Portuguese. I don't know, guys. I don't study languages except for Spanish. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. All right. Well, I'm going to let him come on to the feast. And I am going to just... We will fight that way. Well, if he's not going to come on the feast, he's blocking with his sword. I don't want a team, sir. Let's go ahead and make some soups. Well, I am not going to leave the platform. That's not a smart decision. If he wants to come fight me, he can come to the platform and fight. But I'm there's no reason for me to charge off the platform and do silly things. It's actually kind of surprising that there's no uh, towers. All right, here he comes. Let's see if he monks me. Yes, he did. But I got the sword back because I was anticipating it. And there is the inspector telling me that I'm fighting a monk. And I am getting a pretty good snail combo on this guy. Oh man, that is pretty nice. And it is hard for him to get away when I am snailing him. Let's combo him. Oh, lag. Oh dear. Why are you hitting me with a soup? I mean with a sword, buddy. Eh? Alright, let's go over here. Uh, strength potion. That'll help. I have no moral problems with, I'll use strength in a 1v1. <laughs> what do I care? Gotta take out this monk so he doesn't get any of the feast. Wow, this guy is still living. Woo! This guy knows how to refill. He's surviving pretty long. Oh, he monked me again. Cute, cute. Lag, oh dear, oh dear. Let's run away, guys. I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Got another sword. Killed that guy, and now Draw Iconic is coming in. And I, my invent, my uh, hop bar looks pretty crappy right now. Um, let's try to refill it. We got Johnny coming in here. I cannot sprint right now, guys. Killed Johnny. Let's try to sword through this stuff real quick. He's trying to set me on fire, Draw. Do not do these things to me, Draw Iconic. Do not. How did I get a diamond helmet? I don't even remember when that happened, guys. Alright, let's run in here. I got an apple in my hotbar. That's kind of cool. And let's fight again. Me and Mr. Draw Iconic, who trolled me so hard in the End of Rage video. He's got better armor than I do at this point. He is putting down flint and steel, throwing bulls. How cute. Oh, look at that punch he's got. That's kind of nice. I really got to strafe these arrow shots here. I also want to kind of sort through my inventory a little bit. I really would like that chance. So let's quickly go through. I don't want to sit still too long. But I do want some more soup, so I am going to give him a chance to loot part of the feast. And he's disenchanted his stuff. He threw something at me. Not sure what that is. Uh, let's grab these diamond boots. He is missing with all of his arrow shots. That's kind of nice. Maybe I'll use a flint and steel. Ooh, I want a bow. I will take a bow as well. Two can play at that game. Bow fight! <laughs> oh man, his do a lot of damage though. I really gotta get some uh, food. I need some saturation big time. That punch really does a lot. Man, I wish I had a level. Alright, I will take that stake. That is going to help me. Uh, lag right there. Alright guys, we got to get back into the fight here. He's got full diamond armor now. That's not good for me. He's got lava as well. I have got to fight this guy who's in full diamond. I have partial full diamond. But I also have snail. Well, I really need to get some water or something. Yeah. 
Yeah, his entire plan is to troll, but of course, I should not really be surprised by that. I don't know what he's doing now. Draw Iconic, you're so silly. I can play the fire game too, Draw Iconic. You're not the only one who has these special fire moves. He is trying to throw bowls here, and I am failing at sprinting. I'm gonna try to get the combo on this guy here. He just, he's gonna fall into water. Maybe I can get the necessary combo to kill this guy, but of course he doesn't really want to fight. Luckily, Snail certainly helps me in this situation. Die, die, die. What am I saying? He's not gonna die anytime soon. He's just trying to blow me up, I guess. I am getting some good combos with my normal iron sword. He is trying to light me on fire here. That's pretty cute. That's the one thing about Draw Iconic. He is very cute. I do want to point that out. Alright. I probably need to get out of this area here. Anyway, my sword is going to break probably soon. Which is probably not too good. And that is nice. Let's go back for Draw Iconic. Got to kill this guy in full diamond. He says he's got 7 frames per second. Oh, that sucks. I actually have a lot more than that. I could really use his diamond stuff, you know. That would be really helpful. He's going in for the bow spam again. Trying to arch me. But I will just keep strafing. Oh, there's the successful shot right there. I can get a lot of combos on him, but it doesn't do that much because he is wearing full diamond armor. Pretty soon he's probably going to run out of arrows, but you know. I don't know about that. He set himself on fire. This isn't as bad as the Thor incident because I'm still able to engage in PvP with him. It's not like he can run. My snail really helps me out, so... That's not really the issue. I think he's relying mostly on his arrows here, not really trying to fight. This sword is going to break pretty soon on this full diamond guy here. Hope you guys are enjoying this fight. It's quite the long fight. He says, go Reno, go work it, BB. That's cute. That is cute. Oh, he's doing the sprint underneath the tree. Nice arrows right there. This guy must really know when I'm in the server. He must go out of his way to say, all right, Reno's here. It's time to ruin his life. Jump into lava, Dra. I know you want to. Oh, I know what he wants to do. Use his punch arrows to knock me into lava. Man, Mr. Dra, that's pretty clever, man. That is clever. My real issue here is going to be soup. So I want to make sure I probably get more mushrooms. We're fighting in a swamp right now. He just set himself on fire. If I can hit him into lava right now, that would be pretty cute. I mean, oh no, not the ravine. Not the ravine, Mr. Dra. Maybe I can hit him into the ravine. I almost was able to. All right, I got to take a, a little break right here. You're wearing me out, buddy. Wearing me out. I still have a stack of arrows, though. Now he's going to play the ravine game with me. Ooh, nice shot, sir. Gotta hand it to you. Ooh, I'm pretty good at this too. I can shoot too. I really need more iron. That's gonna be my real problem here, is running out of swords. 
Gonna run on the edge of this ravine right here. If he gets me stuck in a ravine, that's not gonna be good at all. That's just gonna be devastating. Pew! Oh, he just jumped into the ravine. That was interesting decision. Well, I'm coming too. And now he really can't get out. And we can probably fight here now. So here we go. Of course, he's going to spam blocks and try to get out. I have tried, I try to do the same thing. And he is going to survive the creeper explosions. Did you guys see how OP that was? All right. Maybe we can fight in a small area now. But then again, Draw Iconic is very elusive. He is quite good at getting out of situations like this. So, um, he said he was a big sub. Maybe he will fight back, though. Please die from fall damage. No, he's not gonna die from fall damage. Watch out for creepers. Man, this has really gone too far, you guys. This has really gone too far. Oh my goodness gracious. He is just trying to use his punch bow to... This is a pretty good fight though. Like, this is pretty epic. The fact that we're going in this cave system... I mean, it's obnoxious, but I mean, it's at least interesting. These fights always have to go so long. Oh my god. Die, 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 die. Hmm. He is very good at trolling, indeed. My sword's gonna break pretty soon, guys. This is... There goes my sword. And I don't have much left in terms of durability, so I might just lose this fight because there's not much more that I can do. Yep, there goes my sword. Now I'm gonna lose. Uh, have any sticks? Need a stick. Give me a stick, draw iconic. He's gonna make sticks for me. This guy is so nice. Oh wait, I have a sword now. Hold on, we will continue this fight in just a moment. I just need to make another sword. Alright. Well, okay. Resume. Where are you? Oh god. Well, I've lost track of this guy now. I don't know how I got an extra sword, but it just appeared in my inventory. Um... Anyway... There he is. There he is. Hmm. I will use a bow too. Oh yeah, I can shoot too. See, I can shoot pretty well. Oh man, I'm on a roll right here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is really getting nowhere. Hey! Stop it! I'm running- I don't even have any towering materials to really get up to this guy. Honestly. I bet I have so many arrows in me, yeah. I guess I could use crafting tables to tower. Hmm, no, he's got that punch. He's got that punch bow. What if I die from these? Hmm. Okay, he did fall right there. They need to fix Archer, don't they? Alright, now we can at least have a sword fight. Of course, you can always bow spam because of the way they buffed Archer. You get the arrow back. And you also have the ability of Fletcher. So, Archer has a whole new meaning of troll. And of course, I would be fighting Dra Iconic on the very day that they buffed this kit. And he would be playing the kit on the same day. Of course, that's how it would be. And of course, he's got some really good aim. And I can't even really get to him. But at least there's a lot of downtime. So, you guys seen any good movies lately? Yeah. Also, my, uh, armor's gonna break. Man, how is he hitting me from so far away? Haha, -ha, I can now get to him. Fall into lava! Fall into lava! Fall into lava! Maybe I can knock him into lava right here. Yes! Oh yeah, you suck! You suck! Yes! <laughs> oh man, good fight Mr. Dra Iconic, you are certainly iconic, I guess we could say, and how nice that he burned all of his armor, so I don't get any of his diamond armor as a reward, nope, nope, he's going down with the gear, but at least he was nice enough to give me a stick when I thought I needed a stick, it turns out I actually didn't need it because I had another iron sword. Uh, but now I have to get out of this cave system and kill the last three people, so we're gonna take a break right here, and I will come back shortly. Alright guys, we are back. I am here with Mark Carmo. He is one of the last four people in the game. He is way up in this tower, and it's pretty, uh, exhausting and frustrating because I just had to fight Dra Iconic for a good while of time, and I finally killed him, and then when I come to the surface, there are people way up high who are saying things in the chat, blah blah blah, and I have to deal with that. And that is why we have this great invention called the Pit, which starts at the 50 minute mark. Now with the new updates in the hardcore games, I don't know exactly what the Pit's gonna look like. Um, I don't really remember. I think I read something about the Pit where it'll, it's more OP now for the people that won the feast. It stops you from towering, I think. So we'll see what that's like, and I'm gonna wait for the Pit because you know, why wouldn't I? I've worked so hard this game. I'll try to shoot this guy, though. Oh, I shot him. Once. I have a lot of arrows. I could potentially shoot this guy. He probably doesn't have any soup. Marcarmo. My arrows are getting in the bottom of his tower. Oh, he's an archer, too. I'm a little low here. Te mandando flecha. Ta mandando flecha. I don't know what that means. But we're having a bow fight. Oh, that was a close shot. Ooh, that almost hit him. Oh, I hit him right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he was almost dead. I'm watching you, Mark Harmo. Yeah, he was about to die. I don't know if he has any hoop. Any hoop? Any health? 
He has got full health, so he does have some soup up there, obviously. Flecha might have something to do with Fletcher. I I really don't know. I'm not an expert here on the kits. I mean, I'm not an expert in other languages. I mean, jeez, you guys can't expect me to know every language. Alright, Slash Help tells us that we have about six minutes left till the pit. So instead of risking the entire game, we're just going to wait another five minutes and see what happens at the pit. So I will come back shortly, you guys. Alright guys, we are back. I'm going to be teleported into the pit along with the three other towers. Right when we hit the 50 minute mark, I've been talking to these people in the chat because I just got bored. Randomly talking Spanish when I don't really know Spanish. I mean, I know a little bit. Uh, but not that much. They're talking about their towers and such. And here we go guys, we are here at the pit. And I shall now fight these people. Caver GUI is trying to tower up. I don't want that to happen. I'm going to try to hit him in the feet. Oh, he fell in the lava. I think I'm going to be able to kill him now. He says bye, and he is dead. We got someone else towering here. I'm going to try to shoot him down, if at all possible. And I shot him, and he fell. And then one more guy is trying to tower up. I will try to snipe him, and I did right there. He fell into water. And now I can hopefully kill Markartarma with an arrow. If I can, let's see. He's almost dead. Come on, Markarmo. You gotta die, sir. Yes! I killed him right there. He was an archer. And I won the game with Snail. This was a really long game. But I finally pulled it off. And I won on the new hardcore game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.